I'm Sabrina Romanov, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I used an AI agent system to go viral on TikTok this past week. So this is my TikTok studio. For a long time, I was stuck at 200 views, 1000 views on videos. And then I started using an AI agent system focused on finding educational material for beginners to learn different topics. And the videos have done really, really well. Um, so just in the past seven days, you can see here 730,000 video views just in the past seven days, expecting that to hit 1 million by the end of this weekend. Uh, you can see my account here. I won't spend too much time on it, but you can find me on TikTok with the same username that I have here on YouTube. So I created an AI agent system to research a topic and find free YouTube channels for people to learn more about that topic. So you can see here in this video that did really well, I listed eight educational YouTube channels where you, are, you will learn a lot more than going to a four-year college, most four-year colleges. Um, this is another video I made as well, YouTube channels to learn specifically AI and ChatGPT. Another one where I list a couple cybersecurity channels on YouTube and rank them from beginner material to more advanced material. Uh, this one I made just yesterday, so it's starting out, but this answers a question about YouTube channels for entrepreneurs and startups. Uh, and the reason why I, I kept making these is because just from this one video that did really well, I had a bunch of people uh, comment and DM me asking for a short list of YouTube channels for a bunch of other topics, such as uh, cybersecurity, starting up a business, learning English, how to use ChatGPT and AI, all of these different things. And so initially I built out a prototype uh, using Flowwise, which is uh, an open source, uh, it's, you can think of it as like a node-based UI on top of Langchain. Um, but now I'm starting to try other uh, agent building platforms that do require a little bit of coding, such as Crew AI is what I'm going to show you today. And so far, really enjoying it. Um, I do like the visual aspect of low-code agent builders, but I also like text-based editing with Vim. So I, I don't know, it's a tough trade-off for me. Just to introduce Crew AI to people who are not familiar with it, it's an AI agent framework uh, that is open source and you can use it to build a single agent or multiple agents collaborating together in complex workflows. Uh, so it does support you know, sequential communication with multi-agent collaboration as well as manager employee hierarchies, as well as asynchronous parallel task execution behind how it works. You can read this in the documentation as well, but basically you define an agent with a specific role and kind of backstory. So in other words, the context for that agent, and then you define tasks, which are specific things that need to be done by the agents and tasks can be collaborative. Like I mentioned, you can have multiple agents uh, working together to complete something. And really cool is that Crew AI integrates with a bunch of tools out of the box. You just plug in your API key and for each task that you want to do, you just provide a list of tools that the agent is allowed to use and you can leave it up to the agent to decide what tool works best for what they're trying to accomplish and how do they want to use each tool. All right, so here's my code base. Um, I'm calling it youtube.py. The purpose of this AI agent system is to feed in a topic and then get a curated, well-researched list of the best YouTube channels for beginners who want to learn about that topic. It's, I would say this is a pretty simple sequential AI agent system, uh, but what I have here is two agents and two tasks. The first agent is a senior researcher who is tasked with discovering the best YouTube channels for beginners who want to learn about this topic. Um, and for those of you who are into coding, I'm using Emacs with an evil mode for Vim. Um, the backstory and the goal, to try to make this really narrow for each agent. This tends to work much better than giving your agent like a ton of context because then it might lose sight of uh, what's actually important. So the goal for the senior researcher is to find the best YouTube channels and their backstory is, you know, they're driven by curiosity. I think I got this sentence from the Crew AI tutorial, actually, I just left it. Um, and the agent loves sharing knowledge with beginners who are just starting out. Really want to emphasize here that the audience does not have technical or code background for the most part, since again, these scripts and curated lists are tailored towards TikTok. Um, the second agent is the writer agent who is responsible for creating a short viral TikTok hook about why you should learn this topic. So the backstory is there's a seasoned copywriter who's skilled at writing short viral TikTok hooks. I'm just going to go ahead and change this over here to hooks. I was experimenting with having it writing the whole script this morning. I forgot I left that in there. 
This agent is responsible for writing a really short hook that will stop the scroll, uh, which is marketing speak for, you know, how you kind of like mindlessly scroll through social media. How do you grab people's attention, stop the scroll and make them want to actually listen to your, your video or read your content. And then here also notice that we equipped this agent with tools, the search tool, as well as uh, the researcher also has the search tool. So the next thing is to define the tasks. So it, the way Korea has it, you define your agents with their backstories, context, and roles, and then you define the tasks. And then the last step is to assemble your crew, which is your team of multiple agents. Okay, so the research task first is to identify the best blank YouTube channel. So that's a variable you can feed in uh, for beginners to learn about blank topic. Again, another variable that we feed in. And then focus on finding YouTube channels for beginners who know nothing about the topic. Uh, before, when I was first building this out, if I didn't emphasize the audience's background as beginner and non-technical, uh, the, the agent system would give me a bunch of results that, in my opinion, were a bit too much in the weeds for someone who is really just trying to learn the basics. So I put that's why I put that in the task as well as was the agent description. Uh, the final list should explain just the quick focus of each channel. Um, the writing style is Spartan engaging, makes readers want to learn more. And your research is what will help the writer craft a TikTok hook. Now, in terms of future improvements, I should probably abstract the responsibilities even more. Like the researcher shouldn't really be in charge of writing. They should just provide a bunch of research. And the writer in, in kind of the end state version of this agent system, as I keep working on it, the writer should be responsible for writing an engaging hook as well as the rest of the script. But again, this is just a first version of the AI agent system I was just working on. And then the second task is the actual writing. So using the insights provided from the research task, this is actually important because um, if you are using task delegation in multi-agent collaboration, crew AI will complain and throw an error if you don't specify like how, like what they're supposed to do with the task they've been delegated by another agent. So without a phrase like this, you'll actually get an error. So this task is to use those insights, write a short viral TikTok hook about learning the topic, really focus on why it's important and the negative consequences of not learning. This script should spark curiosity and make viewers stop scrolling. Um, and here's the expected outputs persuasive TikTok hook that makes agents want to, that makes you want to learn more. And then also going over here, this is the expected output for the researcher, a list of YouTube channels, each with a two sentence description. Okay. And then really the last step is the crew over here. So this is forming a crew uh, of agents, the tasks, and then we enable some things like memory. Um, in terms of process, it's sequential because it's the researcher first and then delegates a task to the writer and then we're done. So it's a simple sequence rather than a manager employee hierarchy or a parallel asynchronous processing. Um, so yeah, so we just feed in the agents, our researcher and writer, we feed in the tasks, the research task and the right task, the process, sequential, and so on. And then down here, this is the final line to kick off the crew or start our multi-agent AI system. And the input is the topic as well as the number of channels we want to find. So here, just as an example, I put chat GPT uh, and and test it with finding three channels. So, so here, when I run my YouTube script, it starts the AI agent system. And you can see here, uh, what's happening is the first agent is starting its task. So its thought is, I'm gonna find the best YouTube channels for beginners interested in learning about ChatGPT. And you can see here, it's actually using the internet. The action input is search query, best YouTube channels for beginners learning ChatGPT. Um, it gets a bunch of results here. And so it's really cool that you can see its thought process at each step. So after it does that initial Google search, then it starts thinking to provide a precise recommendation. I'm going to examine the content of the top three channels from the search results that appear most suitable for, for beginners. And I will look into channels from the links, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then again, it searches the internet. I tried reusing the same input. I must stop using this action input. I'll try something else instead. Interesting, but uh, I'm not sure what, what it was thinking there. But it, what's so cool to me is that you can kind of see the agent like trying one thing, maybe it doesn't work, and it decides to try something else dynamically, all by itself, autonomously, without uh, me intervening, without manual intervention. 
okay? Now it's like looking at more uh, YouTube channels, specifically searching Jason YouTube channel, Jason West, okay? And so here you can see it's kind of just diving into additional research. This is hooked up to the Serper Dev um, API over here. This is my Serper dashboard here. And then we have the final answer. So here are three YouTube channels ideal for beginners eager to learn about ChatGPT. Jason West, AI Advantage, and Matthew Berman. And I've actually never heard of Jason West's channel, so just as a sanity check for myself. Let me go on YouTube and check it out. On this prompt to achieve higher and higher accuracy. Oh, okay. I always forget that I actually have Vim mode on YouTube. <laughs> okay, there's Matthew Berman. One of the biggest hurdles to vastly improve. Okay. Emma, um, that's kind of technical. Mm. This seems more on the technical side and less beginner friendly. And so I don't love this result, um, but that's okay. Because like another thing that I would probably incorporate here is a third agent that does QA on the senior research agents work. So that third agent would review each of these YouTube channels and really determine whether this is suited for beginners who have no background in coding or technology. If the channel is not, then remove it from the list and replace it with another beginner-friendly channel. So I, I, I would probably add that as a third agent and task in this system just to do a quality check. So basically automating what I just did, right? Like I opened the YouTube and couldn't immediately find like beginner-friendly material. And so we will probably want to replace that channel with something that does have, you know, more beginner friendly material even if it has fewer subscribers that's okay as long as the content is val valuable and useful and digestible for beginners all right that's pretty much it for my ai agent system to whip out these uh curated lists of youtube channels that are educational and beginner friendly you can see in my tiktok the reason why i'm doing this is because i kept getting lots lots of questions about youtube channels for different topics all right i'm sabrina ramanov thanks for watching if you like this video hit like hit subscribe drop a comment below i'd love to hear from you